Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, a lot of people have asked me to do a quick video on my locomotive. So I started building my locomotive from scratch back in, it would have been October 2019, basically just before the first lockdown in the UK for COVID. Um, that plans up on the wall, started making first cuts and <clears throat> we are now two and a half years in probably 2000 hours 2000 man hours of work's gone into it and i am effectively ready as of this moment for the first steam test so uh a few people have asked to see so here you go yeah. so this is my five inch gauge washington uh she be the she will be the 217 Lulu Bell will be the final name. She's currently ready for a steam test. You can see the boiler cladding is not fitted. Um, the, the current current idea is there's no point going any further putting any more bits of fancy cladding on and the putting the cab on here if we're going to have an issue because it will all have to come apart again. Um, and it's a lot of pieces to take apart uh, at this point. So <clears throat> we are ready for the steam test. The only issue is this is the reach rod. Uh, it cannot be completed because it is fitted as part of the cab. And without a cab, I don't know how, I can't fit it. So it is now currently jury rigged. We can have a quick look down the back here. Um, Got this massive whistle. This is the oil tank. Two valves here for port and starboard feed pump. The sight glass for the lubricator. Got the gauge glass. Fire hold door. Regulator. It's a bit stiff to be honest. I'm hoping it'll break in. The, the uh, this is for the inject uh, not inject uh, for the blower for the funnel. My whistle valve valve for the oil feed. So uh, there's not many controls really at the back. I wanted to fit an injector. Um, it was supposed to go at the back here, at the bottom. There wasn't quite enough room currently. If if I find this whistle is no good, I'll end up removing it and put in a smaller whistle and fit in the injector. Um, it is re currently ready to go. It's a, the fan for getting started. Just pops on the top. Just pops on the top there. Yeah. Light box in the front. Little LED light in the front. Um, <clears throat> For those of you who've perhaps not noticed, there is no physical way to actually lift. There's no physical way to lift the loco from the front. So I've had to make a special handle. So you can actually lift the loco at the front. Um, I've got, I've made two shovels currently with no handle on because one of the issues is, well, how long do I make it? So interesting. Down the back here. Pull it along my little bit of track. Here's the tender, it's ready to go. Um, the other side is the emergency hand pump. The little plastic tub. The idea being I'm going to put the coal inside the plastic tub rather than ruin my lovely varnish job that I did on, on all the wood. Yeah, so exciting times to come. There is, mm, I think, nothing left for me to do. I, I need to calibrate the safety valves. Calibrate the safety valves. The pressure gauge needs a little red line on it. The working pressure of, uh, if I remember, I can't remember, 80, 80 pounds per square inch. I think it's working pressure. Um, but there you go. It is ready to go. I hope uh, you're excited as I am. Maybe in the new year. It's getting a bit cold and Christmas is here. There you go. 
I'll get a video when that happens, I'm sure. Alright, thank you. Have a good Christmas, everyone. Bye.